Larry, in order to qualify for COVID-19 funding, a business has to be open for at least a year. But the Deaf Delights Cafe has only been open for a few weeks. And the owner tells me those few weeks have been incredibly difficult. Sandy Rivers is the owner of the Deaf Delights Cafe in Newark. My main focus is to bring two worlds together. You know, the hearing and the deaf community. It's a business she started in honor of her late parents. Both my parents are deaf, and they both died in a society that wasn't built for them or made for them. So I wanted to make sure no other deaf community uh, died in the same manner my parents did. The cafe is a safe haven for the more than 22,000 members of the deaf community in Newark. But opening the business has been anything but easy. She tried to open back in June of 2019, but thieves broke into the cafe stealing $70,000 worth of items. It took everything. It took all my earnings, everything I ever saved, everything I ever done for, I want to do for the deaf community. It was literally gone within um, hours. Thanks to a fundraiser, she was able to raise some of the money back, but then COVID-19 hit. And COVID just literally shut down um, the whole system in Newark, so I didn't literally get my paperwork to maybe a month and a half ago. For now, the doors to her business are open, but it's been a daily struggle. Well, I'm not able to pay for a lot of the luxury that I want for the deaf community. COVID is preventing you know, a lot of the customers from actually coming out. Rent is very hard to uh, do. Because of the requirement for businesses to be open for at least a year to receive COVID-19 relief funds, Sandy isn't eligible for any help. So she recently started a GoFundMe, hoping donations will help her buy a digital billboard for her shop to make watching TV easier. She also hopes to be able to host more activities such as bingo nights. But I can't do it by myself, you know, so I definitely need all the love and support from the community to help me help thousands. Just bring it up the car. Tyson Haley is one of the many members of the deaf community who have found a home at the cafe. He identifies as deaf and says this cafe has given him the opportunity to feel included and understood. This really means a lot. Now, instead of me taking out my cell phone, going to my buzz card, and ordering food with my friends as a group, I can come into a place and sign, I want a cheeseburger, or I want french fries. He's hoping the community will help keep this cafe running. I'm, I'm pleading from my heart, give. Whatever you want to give, just come and take a look. Buy a hoodie, buy a mug, order a sandwich. Sandy says people like Tyson motivate her to keep pushing on, as well as the two people who inspired this in the first place. My mom and dad would have loved this. You know, it breaks my heart that they're not here, but I know they're down smiling. Now this is what the outside of the cafe looks like right now, but Sandy hopes that through the GoFundMe donations, she'll be able to open an outdoor dining space for the deaf community. Reporting in Newark for Jersey Matters, I'm Jennifer Marin.